So a firefighter is going to go on the inside. I'm going to take them in, put them in a position where they're going to be um, in a simulated collapse and they can't get out the way they came in. But when I get in here, we're going to drop some debris and with that we're going to simulate that we've got a collapse at the front door. That the firefighter now needs to find a way out. The two remaining members on the outside are going to fire up the cirque saw. They're going to attempt to force the entry into the building to get to you. Okay, so you're going to be going through your radio comms as a firefighter in distress and this is the rescue crew on the outside trying to get in. So that's a simulation of using a saw, increases the noise yeah. and uh, uh, I guess if you owe the pollution inside the building to make you think a little bit harder. Yeah. But I'm gonna walk in so you can pull this up a little bit so you can see. Yeah. That way we can get some air. I'm gonna walk into the room and then we'll just pull it down, okay? They're gonna search. We've got a nozzle in here. They're gonna find the hose line that was abandoned by the crew that, that abandoned the building. Mayday, mayday, mayday. As they know their way in is now compromised. They're gonna follow the hand line out, which is gonna take them through the rest of the house. So then we're going to start getting into some obstructions and some things that are going to slow down their crawl. And the hose line goes back and into the bathroom in there and it just loops around. And the, with the simulated class, now they've got a debris field that they have to get through. So they're following a the hose line. The hose line is a way to safety. And as we go into the kitchen here, you'll see that we've now got a restrictive box with some electrical wires and other obstacles. Hey, get out give Chief Todd a can report. We do have a, a hole in the floor that is uh, to put them in a position to leave with their hands or their feet to check where they're at so they do not fall into the collapse, but also recognizing the hose line and the safety considerations. You can hear the crew on the exterior outside this wall. Your job is to force this wall opening where your hose is to your right, okay? When things go bad, if we don't have practice, if we haven't prepared for that event, other than just reading a policy or, you know, going out in the apparatus bay and covering up our mask and being confident with our equipment, if we don't practice in a condition that's going to be similar to what you may see at two o'clock in the morning, then you might not be prepared for it. You're now out in the garage. Give them a can report and you're done. In a somewhat realistic, with the exception of, you know, the smoke and, and heat and fire, to put them in a situation where they have to think on their feet, they have to manage their air and be able to you know, go back to the basic firefighter techniques that they were taught on how to get through a confined space or how to cut wires, where are their tools, how does their radio work, and just to make them more comfortable. I am out of the structure on the Delta Alpha corner of the building. I'm walking to the grass. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was a good dynamic of different obstacles and kind of brain teasers to try and figure out how to conquer them. You know, very good. Tight. I felt myself wanting to wait for that saw to stop and then make my transmission, but obviously I had to overcome that and just try and get out. I'd like the guys on the outside, at least one of them that are on deck, to be listening to the Mayday channel in case he can get out. Everybody comes home at the end of at the end of the call, and the goal here is to give you guys some more tools for your toolbox.